So here we have the Mini Cooper S convertible automatic on a 12 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it. From the outside you can see it's a two door car uh, with those black alloy wheels as well. We'll start off inside the boot space first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have the twin tailpipes, which are unique to the Cooper S variant of the Mini. Uh, and plenty of boot space, given the type of car that it is, with that 50-50 split folding rear seat as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it. But now that we've done a full circle, you can see it's a great looking car and in lovely condition the whole way around as well. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. We have the rev counter, the digital readout for the speedometer, and beneath that, the total miles for this car, which is 62,181. You can change the information displayed above that by pressing a button on the end of the indicator stalk. Uh, if we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have phone and stereo controls on the right hand side cruise control the paddles uh, on either side are for changing up and down again so they are kind of push pull paddles so you can go up and down again manually with this automatic gearbox should you wish to do that over in the center we then have the main screen for the car which includes um, satellite navigation amongst other things uh, all of the movement that you can see me making on the screen at the moment is being done using this dial just here, which you can rotate to certain options. You can push it down to enter those menus. So for example, I've just entered the satellite navigation menu, which you can see just there. We can come back out to the home screen. You can also pair your phone, of course, uh, and you'll be able to uh, listen to the radio. Uh, this particular car has got DAB, AM and FM radio available. If you listen to your own music, you do so under the CD multimedia heading. Um, so of course we have a CD player, in this car but you can plug in external devices so we have usb input bluetooth audio so you can stream your music wirelessly and auxiliary input as well we have the fuel gauge in this section below that the cd player the main volume for the stereo and then the climate control so you can adjust the temperature the direct uh, the fan speed and then the direction the air is being distributed in the air conditioning is on when that light shows so that's off back on again or hit auto the car will now take full control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain that temperature for you. You can override that whenever you wish to. We have our uh, driver side electric window, passenger side electric window, and the rear electric windows are both done simultaneously with this button. Deadlock so you can lock and unlock the car doors from the outside. Front and rear fog lights as well. We then have the uh, gear lever, of course, for the fully automatic gearbox. And then, of course, the last thing I want to show you is the roof working. So the first pull of the button that's up by the rear view mirror will just open the front section to give you a kind of a sunroof. If you go back up to the button, uh, the windows will go down and the roof will open, as you can see, all the way up. And it's as easy as that. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.